all right and uh, so if the W key is pressed then I go forward if the S key is pressed then I go backward and I go backward by the path 180 degrees instead of zero a little tricky but I already show you in game so if I turn on that layer so whenever we add 180 degrees to the current direction then the current direction will be mirrored basically so it goes here because 360 degrees is the max then 180 is the half of that so it will be mirrored uh, that's about it so probably I hope that you understand this if not just write you know and I try to help okay and now it's uh, uh, whenever the A or the D key is pressed so if uh, state and again I get uh, use it as an array so SDLK A is pressed then we want to go uh, you know uh, so you yeah uh, I want to go in this direction right here okay so basically all I do is call the move camera function and again move velocity is the velocity we moving and then I just give 90 degrees in here okay and as if if the D key is pressed so state SDLK D okay so if the D key is pressed then again move camera and uh, again move velocity of the velocity we are moving and then the second is 270 degrees because uh, we want to go that direction so this direction if we are looking at this direction at original if I add 270 degrees to this angle whatever we looking then we are we are moving this way pretty simple and straightforward okay and actually one last thing is left is to move the c um, rotate the camera to the current direction okay I after this uh, mouse in uh, um, check I'm rotate the camera okay I rotate it uh, out there because even if the mouse is not inside the window we want to rotate to the current direction wherever we looked last time where the when the mouse was in the screen so GL rotate F and I rotate minus cam pitch uh, minus cam pitch because uh, as you may remember we can move the camera itself we will move everything in the uh, opposite direction where we look at okay and then uh, the camera pitch is the X direction all right and I make another rotate F rotate F function this will be the minus cam yo thing okay and then 0 and 1 0 because this is the Y direction pretty simple now the only thing is remain to actually move the camera I make a function for that uh, you will uh, understand why this is a different function in the uh, uh, skybox tutorial uh, for now just uh, uh, think about it as different functions so nothing really special in here uh, I think it was update camera if I remember well okay and this function is pretty straightforward I just translate to the current position so gl translate s minus cam x minus cam y minus cam z that's about it and I hope I did everything well now the only thing is remains to actually call these uh, functions in the correct place so I go to the third the cpp file the functions that header file is actually uh, included so that's good 
okay and I don't rotate this monkey head because I don't want to I don't translate this monkey head we will translate it by the mouse and the keys so we don't have to translate it now and uh, I call the control function in here after I wrote the identity so control and uh, think about the good uh, value I think 0 0.2 is okay at least that's what I used in the other program and uh, I give the mouse in variable okay one the last thing is to set this mouse in to true or false or whatever it is I think we actually initialize it as false so we have to make it true if we click to the window okay so case SD, uh, SDL mouse down if I remember mouse button down yep mouse button down it was a long time ago when I uh, showed you the mouse event so mouse button down then I set the mouse in equals to true so if we click to the window I set the mouse in to true and I show a uh, turn off the show cursor so SDL show cursor is SDL disable we don't want to show it and I break in here okay and I make a key down function so SD SDL key down so if a key is down then if this key so if event dot key dot key stem dot stem I think uh, so if this uh, button is for example I don't know make it P as SDLK P then I just set it back so it is not more uh, uh, needed to mouse in so mouse in equal to false and then I show the cursor so SDL show cursor SDL enable oh that's right and uh, an underscore in here and I break it again uh, yep break okay and I make an escape key actually I should use the uh, uh, switch uh, case statement so it will be a little bit shorter but uh, who cares so SDL S escape so if the escape key, escape key is pressed then you know I just ex ex exit from the program so running equal to false and uh, break that's about it and make it uh, nah, good okay now the most risky part is come in try to compile maybe the entire thing we did is wrong and then I have to start over again this tutorial so fur.cpp oh I'm not in the correct directory so g++ fur dot cpp then functions dot cpp then object loader dot cpp uh, dash lsdl lgl and lglu okay as I said earlier we have to make this mouse in function to local we don't need it here so I may uh, put it in here so in the main uh, main uh, function and then I think it sh it should solve the problem or not okay make it global in here just for the sake of simplicity oh fracking control key I cannot press the fracking control finally okay so I make it here okay that should uh, solve one problem but we have a lot of other error okay the SDL enable is capital letters so similarly then disable this will be capital so enable right next one all of the others is in the functions.cpp header file okay I should uh, uh, delete this uh, equal sign and replace it with a space uh, I should uh, 
listen to the advice I give you in the macro tutorial uh, don't use it <laughs> okay but never mind so next one is line 25 okay the camera X, X okay I'm afraid that the C math header file is not included because it's not uh, understand the sinus and cosinus so I just include the C math header file include C math header file all right and then one last error I think will remain in line uh, 63 63 in here and the problem is there is uh, what the problem expected oh that's right now we have to try it okay try to run the program and re be ready for the segmentation failure okay oh I cannot move that's a problem all right go back to the moving section in the control so get key state oh I think I know what the problem I call uh, I think I called the control function in the display here but I haven't called the update camera function so update camera that's right now we try and run it okay it seems that it's work a w s a d move up the camera down the camera move in this way now I can look upward and so on move inside the monkey head although the uh, I should put the light uh, closer because this front thing of the monkey is pretty dark so the light is somewhere like approximately here little bit upper alright I think that it does what it need to as I said it's not a perfect camera and this is not ex and then this is not completely my program and I find it on the internet and I modified a little bit uh, remove some port at some port if I don't forget I will put a link to the original code I downloaded and uh, I think that's about this tutorial I think it do what it needs to do later when we add gravity to it then we don't want that whenever we look up then we go obviously up because we go wherever the terrain is bring to us so if we go down from a mountain the obviously we go down but if we, we look up and go forward then we go don't go up then we go forward obviously so the change will be later on whenever we add gravity and so on we comment out this line and this line and again this line and this line and then this line this line all right then later on when we add gravity we do that so whenever we look up we don't go up so now we can actually compile the program and I can show you so whenever I look up and go forward as you can see I I uh, so as you can see I don't go up whenever I look up and go forward okay just I forget where the monkey are oh, we got it alright so that's what the monkey had looked like later add the weapon to here and add the terrain and the map uh, later on so that's about it I thank you for watching and have a great day